She's back and she hadn't lost any sassiness, but she is doing a whole lot of work here. Yes. Sassy Chef Heather Larrikin is back. We're talking gourmet, clean eating. Mm -hmm. with Nutritional. And with, the, and with the base being squash. Yes. All different forms of squash, which mm. it happens to be one of my favorite vegetables. Oh, good. So See, I did that on purpose. Thank you. You're thank welcome. you for that. So you made the soup. You made, made the, the soup. soup. So this now, would be considered our main entree. Okay. All right. First of all, let's talk about acorn squash. Let's um, another thing about acorn squash, people don't want to, I mean, you know, it's it's hard to cut into. Right. Um, really easy. All you need is a really sharp knife. And you got, you need to have a little cojones, too, to work with squash because it's, Get up in the it's not, you need muscles, you know, it's okay. not easy. All right, so we're going to just slice it in half, which is what I did here, okay. and I just spooned out the seeds. Just like a cantaloupe? Just like a cantaloupe, exactly. Um, and then we can go ahead and sprinkle a little bit of olive oil or pep or um, coconut oil, which I'm about to do. So you do all of this raw, you're not cooking anything ahead of time? Um, this is what I'm going to cook ahead of time. So this is what I'm going to throw in the oven, and mm -hmm. then this is the way it turns uh -huh. out. Ta-da! With, you know, our filling inside. Just Beautiful. Like that. <laughs> now, how long did you bake that? Because that's um, a nice size little... You bake it there. at 400 degrees for about 45 minutes. Okay. And you have to be very careful too because it's one of those things that like if you bite into it and it's not cooked all the way, it's then you get really disappointed. Mm -hmm. And then you're like, this is a lot of work it for was a lot of work. Raw exactly. squash. Okay, so, so once we bake this baby. So we're going to bake this baby and what I like to do is I like to add a little bit of smoked paprika mm. to squash because it already has a sweetness added. You know, squash is already sweet. And then once you bake it, it pulls out that sweetness. And what po smoked paprika does is it gives it that sweet, smoky flavor. Mm, and sassy. 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 Okay, so then for our filling, this dish is inspired by paella. Okay. But what I used is quinoa instead because quinoa is a plant protein. And it's you get your extra source of protein when you use quinoa. Mm -hmm. um, it's a complete protein. So I try to get my child to eat it all the time. And, and how's it going? Um, and yeah. Yeah. But what I like to tell him is that it's Rice's cousin. Oh, it's Rice's it's cousin. It's part of the family. It's a good idea. It's part of the family. I love it. You introduced <laughs> this to me, by the way. Oh, I did. And I love it now. Yeah. It's awesome. Okay. So then I'm going to go ahead and add garlic to my pan. Okay. A little bit of shallot. Of course. And again, inspired by paella. So we're going to add um, mussels to it. And um, mm. to give it that Latin flair, paella, right? Right. We're going to add our hatch chilies, which I roasted ahead of time because San Antonians love their mm -mm -mm. hatch chilies. Do it. Yes. And it gives it that little extra kick, a little bit of tomato, um, whatever spices you want. I okay. like to do a little bit of cinnamon. Well, I like sweet. to do a little bit of cumin. So you have that sweet, smoky, sassy, you know what I'm talking and about. Then, so you would just saute that up for a little bit? Yeah, saute it for a little bit. And you know what? I have a library full of my own recipes. However, yes, I do. do like to put a little twist on traditional recipes like paella. Okay. To make it. So sassy. you would just, how long until that's done? How long do you um, do that? Well, you want to make sure that your um, the vegetables are okay. kind of see through and aromatic. So once they become translucent, then you can add your quinoa. You can add then, whatever filling protein that you want shrimp, seafood, um, and, chicken. Okay, and then and you then, fill it up and ta da! And then ta da, you can sprinkle a little more pepper. Beautiful. Sassy Chef Heather. You're the best, and you're going to make a dessert for us. I am. Before all is said and done. Ooh. And I will post these on our website. Yes, Fox San Antonio. Dot com. Sounds Don't great. go anywhere.